Now in the beginning of the video, I just want to say if you like our content, do subscribe to our channel and do like our videos, we need your thumbs up. Now let's begin, let's talk about the Sony A7S 3 camera. The Sony A7S 3 camera is coming for sure. The Sony Alpha Rumors.com website revealed few information just few days ago. I am going to link all that in the description box below. But let's talk about the specification leaked by the veteran rumor mill. According to the Sony Alpha Rumors.com, the upcoming Sony A7S 3 camera will going to have a stand CMOS sensor, 4K at 60 FPS, HDR as well as better internal tech compared to the Sony A9 camera. Now if you are a reader of, the, of our website that is the newcamera.com then we have published our information approx a month ago and in that we have clearly told you that the upcoming Sony A7S 3 camera is arriving with a stacked CMOS sensor, dual SD card slots, also 4K HDR and 4K 60fps was already mentioned in our article. With the help of new image processor and sensor, we will going to see benchmark improvement in the low light performance of the upcoming Sony A7S 3 camera. In that same article, I have also told you that the upcoming Sony A7S 3 camera will going to have the touch screen from the Sony A7 III that will going to make a big difference between the Sony A7S 2 screen versus the Sony A7S 3 touch screen. The Sony A7S 3 camera will going to have a UXGA OLED display with a 6.3 micrometer pixel piece. It is one of the best viewfinder that will going to be used inside the upcoming Sony A7S 3 camera. So there are a lot of information we have for you that the Sony A7S 3 camera is coming with a complete revolution inside. Now at the time I am making this video, we don't have any clue about the resolution of the Sony A7S 3 camera. Now let's talk about the resolution of the Sony A7S 3 camera. Now as we all know with the help of 12 megapixel sensor back in 2015 the Sony was able to achieve a ISO range of 409600. Now things have improved. At that time they were using a FSI full frame CMOS sensor. Now the technology improved. We have BSI, we have stacked CMOS sensor. So definitely there will going to be a bit bump in the resolution, maybe 16 MP, 20 MP or maybe 24 MP at the moment we don't know. But at the same time, when the resolution increases, the per pixel size, the photo dice size decreases and the low light cap capability of the camera also decreases at the same time. So what I think is even they use the Sony A7 3 sensor with an advanced image processor and new image decoding algorithms, they can boost the ISO range up to 819200. Why? Because Sony A7 III camera is already capable to achieve ISO range of 204800. So literally, they are not going to be any big issue for Sony to boost the ISO range to stop more even while having a 24 megapixel full frame stack CMOS sensor of the Sony A7 III camera. For me, Sony A7S III camera will going to have resolution somewhere around 20 MP. Because if Sony tries to keep the resolution of the upcoming Sony A7S III camera to 24 MP, then they will going to have a very little space for low light ISO improvement. Now let's talk about the video part of the upcoming Sony A7S III camera. The Sony A7S III camera as we have told you a month ago that it will going to arrive with the 4K 60fps, 4K HDR and there is a big possibility that we will going to see 4 to 10 bit option inside the Sony A7S III camera because Panasonic GH5, GH5 is already giving us that option. So it is highly important for Sony also to introduce a 10 bit option inside the upcoming Sony A7S 3 camera. So Sony have to satisfy all these demands. They need to implement a better video recording option inside the A7S 3 camera as well as a better low light performing still camera. So what I want to say is Sony is currently leading the full frame camera division. We have no second thought on this and every time when they releases a new camera either they, it is a7 or a9 
they always create a new benchmark so at the same time we are expecting that sony a7s3 camera will going to create a new benchmark in industry with its low light and video performance i am waiting for that I want to know your thoughts on Sony A7S 3 camera. I want to know your wish lists associated with the camera. And at the end, if you like this video, do give a thumbs up, do subscribe to our channel. I am going to see you very soon in one of my next videos. Thank you for watching us.